you know, David uh, was adopted for, you know, anybody that doesn't know. And uh, um, he just was so happy just to get out with us and go for a walk and because he had been kind of um, not having those opportunities uh, in, in the uh, place where he was uh, being fostered. So, you know, we could just see that he had a love of the outdoors, kind of for being outdoors, even at that stage. And um, that was something that uh, you know, he maintained throughout his life, despite, um, you know, the issues. My mom died praying for him. <laughs> she passed away four years ago. She was, you know, she knew David was missing, but she passed away about three, year, three months after David went missing. And she, she had him in her heart every single day. But, the thousands of hours that we spent on the phone and creeping through the Facebook and looking for that one connection that maybe police just don't have the time to look for or one person that you remember a name from the past and you managed to hunt for them. I mean, that's a daily thing for us. And if he was, you know, if we could bring him home and bury our son, then we would at least be able to remember him and just say, there it is. You know, what happens? And if they ever figure out what happened, then that's... That's the RCMP's job, and they're doing a great job of that. But for us, for me, and I don't know about Bob, it would just be able to just kind of, I don't like the word closure, because I don't think that you close a life of a son, but I do know that we would just be able to say, forget about anybody he knew, or anybody who knew who knew someone else. It, you could just try to say, it's our son, and he was a great person, and we loved him. And I'd just like to know that he's been laid to rest. And if there is someone out there who has that, what, what would you say to them? Well, in the first... Help, help us. Yeah, help us. Please. Help. Yep. I just can't... You know, in the first year there was, a, you know, some, you know, some worry that maybe it was a fearful situation for somebody who knew something, but... I can't believe in four years that peop the few people that David knew in that area haven't been somewhere like a vacation or a concert or a travel, that they couldn't have gone to a payphone in an arena or a bar or any place and called Crime Stoppers and left a tip. You know, I just can't, that, that's what I would say, are you that person? People travel outside of the Kootenays, you know, they go places, they, they could have called on an anonymous line. Just one little clue to tell the investigators where David is.